In this video, you will be learning how to make player death using Ragdoll. In the end of the video, you will be able to make this. So in the last two videos, we were able to make this hyper casual game in which we made the basic movement and also the player health system. So that when he damages, he has one heart less and when he dies, he dies like that with some animation. But the problem with that animation is that he clips through obstacles. So as you can see, if he dies, he will clip, clip through that, all right? And that is not what we want. So we want accurately uh, physics-based dying system that we can accomplish using Ragdoll. If you have missed the last two videos, you can go to my channel and see the last two videos in which we made the basic movement and then the player health. So make sure you see these videos first and this is the third part. And yeah, let's go ahead and select our player. So this is the player over here. I'm gonna go ahead and select the player and what you have to do is you have to say right click 3 game object and ragdoll and when you, do th when you do that you can see the window pop up and now we have to just uh, place things in there so if I open up the player you can see there's a hip and then in there we have spine left leg light rag and all that so so the pelvis basically is the hip so I'm gonna drag in the pelvis left hip is left leg left knee is the left leg and then left foot is the left foot just like that same goes for the light then there's left arm so in the spine you will find the arms so I'm gonna close the legs in the spine we will find the arms so these are so I guess I have to use the left arm for the left arm so I'm gonna drag and drop the left arm and then the left elbow will be left forearm right arm will be the right arm and right forearm for the right elbow right forearm there we go okay then the middle spine will be the spine one head will be head so in there we will find the neck and in the neck there's a head so i'm gonna drag in the head in there and there we go everything done uh the basic the default settings are good and i'm gonna just leave it there and say create and once you do that if you select the player now you can see now everything is properly set up pretty amazing now uh let's go ahead and thoroughly see if everything is properly set up or not so as you can see the head is little big or some things are a little big something a little small so we have to fix that radius a little bit not that much a so little bit so that they don't you know clip through each other so that is what we want not nothing much I'm gonna do the same thing for the right and radius decreased and the radius decreased so now if I go ahead and select the right arm as you can see it is quite properly set up but this one is a little bigger so I have to go ahead and in the forearm I will have to decrease the radius a little bit now in your case if it is well, like popping out something like this then you have to change the axis and the direction so, alright in my case it is properly set up but in your case sometime that happens so you have to just change the direction a little bit now I'm gonna go ahead and set the scene back lighting and I'm gonna go ahead and play it one time so that we can see if it is properly working or if it is giving us any kind of error or not so as you can see, oh shit there we go it's, it is doing that shit okay absolutely bad so now as you can see we are having a bit of a trouble right here using the ragdoll if I uh, remove the capsule collider and play the game he will fall down because we have a rigid body and the rigid body is with the capsule collider and all that so we, he will start to fall down and if you don't disable the capsule collider then he will clip through the ragdoll and you know give us weird artifacts so what do we do now so as you can see we are having this shit over here so how do we fix that well what i can think of is that we can duplicate this guy and make a dummy ragdoll so this one will be a normal guy with no ragdoll and then there will be another duplicate of him same exact position same exact place and he will have the ragdoll and whenever he dies we are gonna quickly replace this guy with the actual ragdoll and the transition will be seamless and uh, yeah, that is what I w I'm trying to do. So here as you can see I have a ragdoll player and the other one has no ragdoll. So this is the normal one and this one is the ragdoll one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ragdoll one and remove the rigid body from it. Remove the capsule glider, remove the FSMs just like that and so we will just disable the animator controller for now and that is it now this is the actual player what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and drag the ragdoll player inside the actual player and hopefully that will work 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the ragdoll for now. Okay, and let's play the game and see if the game is properly working for now or not. So there we go. As you can see, the player can move left and right and the health is properly working. Now, if I pause the game and select the ragdoll player, as you can see, it is right where the player should be. All right. Cool. Now, what I want to do is I want to drag this guy out whenever the player dies. All right. So I want this guy to drag out. I want to disable this guy just like that. Enable this guy. And. OK. <laughs> okay so yeah there we go uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and enable the animator controller all right on that one and play the game again so that we have this pause the game drag this out disable this player and enable this player and as you can see he's doing that same animation and if i remove the animator controller and as you can see he then does that animation so that is what i am thinking of doing so we want the animator controller so that he plays that animation just before dying and then he dies from that position so uh, okay so everything is properly working now we only need to drag this guy out enable that disable that and do that shit okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and and uh, select the health i guess so in this state we actually die so if you don't know what this is this is playmaker and if you don't have any confusions then check the last video out this one all right and this one so in this one we yeah we use playmaker uh, which is awesome awesome asset it's kind of like bolt but 100 times better so yeah so uh in the hit detect it, this is also the state in which we die and in this state we set the health to zero and we basically play the animation so that is not what we want so in here we don't want to play the animation so i just disabled that and in the health when it becomes zero so as you can see if the health is zero we come over here and in this state we want to go ahead and say set parent and we want to set the parent of this ragdoll player no uh, specify the game object to be the ragdoll and set the parent to none there we go so we basically drag this guy out basically that is what we want because right now the player of this ragdoll is the player and if we set this to none he's gonna automatically come out of this guy then we want to say activate game object activate game object and we want to activate this guy which is this guy oops specify the game object drag and drop this guy in here and then we want to active deactivate ourselves right so copy paste user owner deactivate so this is activated this is deactivated all right uh so let's go ahead and play the game and see if something happens at least <laughs> uh, i hope so something happens okay one two and three so as you can see every, uh, as you can see the player is disabled the ragdoll came out and he is doing that animation now the only thing that we want to do is we want to wait for a second and then just disable the animator controller so i'm gonna go and select the player ragdoll add in another fsm in here edit and say wait 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 for i don't know 0.5 seconds because we want to wait so that he starts to play that animation and then when he starts to play that animation we simply want to disable the animator controller that is to activate the ragdoll so drag and drop the animator controller set property enabled where is it uh am i missing something yeah enabled to false there we go so wait for 0.5 seconds enabled false ragdoll activated bam save the game play the game see everything is properly working or not and yeah one two and three okay so 0.5 seconds is a lot <laughs> so that is one thing 0.5 seconds is a little longer time so i'm gonna set this to 0 0.05 and play the game again and test it out one two oh there we go there we go hell yeah that is the death i'm talking about now that is some really cool physical based physics based uh ragdoll death and that is what i wanted that is what i expected so one two and three 
there we go he dies and that is pretty amazing awesome now if you want to pump this up you can also add in some forces so that he you know jumps forward or moves forward or you know so i'm gonna come in here and say add force add force to our player's hip because the hip has the rigid body we don't have a rigid body so it's not gonna work so i'm gonna select the hip specify the game object drag and drop the player hip in there just like that and say uh in which direction we want to add the force so we want the we want to add the force in uh, in z-axis or in the x-axis i guess it's x-axis so x-axis minus 10 minus 200 minus 700 I don't know. Just to check uh, check this out, I'm gonna go ahead and simply drag and out drag out our player, disable this player, enable that player, and see if we add the force. Is it gonna do something to our player or not? So, play the game. So he does not add any force, so that is bad. Uh, what if I set this to every frame so that he adds force every frame so that we can see if it is adding force or not? So if the force is little too small or a little too long so as you can see it is moving forward so that is pretty cool i guess that 700 is a little lower number so we will have to increase the number to uh 5000 minus 5000 so as you can see the minus was proper okay so let's see if 5000 works or not oh it sure does it it moves a little little bit so i'm gonna set this to 10000 in your case the numbers may vary 10,000 yeah okay so this should work and then also we can move it a little up so that he yeah there you go as you can see he moves forward and that is pretty awesome then I also want to move it a little up so I'm gonna go ahead and set this to maybe 8,000 8,000 play the game and see so he should you know jump like a curve or something like that so that will be pretty cool effect yeah there we go awesome okay so and yeah that is it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't subscribe to this channel which is how to do so in the next video we will learn how to make some enemy system so that the enemies will be running towards us and we have to dodge the enemy and what if we hit the enemy then of course we die and yeah that is pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed i will see you in my next video peace out